Most professional developers use Manage Database to add fields because it has more capability and allows you to access tables and relationships as well. So let's add our housekeeping fields via this dialog. So just go up to the file menu, choose Manage, Database, and you'll see up at the top that you have Tables, Fields, and Relationships. We're actually going to switch to Tables real quickly and notice that the table that's in there, FileMaker created for us and called it CRM based on the name of our file. I'm going to change it to Contacts. Just hit the Change and then come over to our field section for contacts. If you had more than one table you would see it located under this pop-up menu. You can see all the fields we created. We're going to add our housekeeping fields which allow you to keep track of what's going on with your records. The first one is going to be stamp underscore create. That'll be a timestamp and a timestamp is a date and a time separated by a space. We'll create it then go into options in the auto enter section we'll click on creation and usually want to hit prohibit modification so you don't accidentally override the value so it's it can't be changed you want this to be accurate information and then we'll come in here and say stamp modify make sure we keep it lowercase create go into options modification time and date prohibit then we'll move on to account, create. This will be who uh, created the actual record, who was logged on, if you have multiple users. Now don't forget to change it to text. Hit create, go into options, creation. We need to pop this menu up and choose account name. Not name, that's the name of the computer. You want the name of the person who logged on with their credentials. And again, prohibit modification. Then we'll do modify here again. Hit create. Go into options. Modification. Account name. Prohibit modification. And last but not least, we're going to create a serial number. All tables should have a serial number, a unique identifier that tells you that this record is record one, this record is number three, and so on. It's a number that goes with it, has nothing to do with data entry, and it's used often in relationships, which we'll create later. So it's a good idea to create it now. And this is a naming convention I use. I like to put an underscore there because then it'll sort to the top when you sort it by or view it by name. So we'll create and watch what happens when we choose view, view by name goes right to the top and that's really handy when you're doing the relationships because then the keys that you use in the relationship are all at the top. Then we're going to go into options. We're going to go to auto enter again, choose serial number, and then again prohibit modification. Simple as that, it will automatically increment each new record with a new number so they won't overlap. And when we click OK, you'll notice that it does not put these fields on the layout. We have to add them ourselves, but we really don't want these fields on the layout. They don't need to be there. They're behind the scenes in case you go, oh, I wonder who modified this record because it's all messed up. Well, you can look at the count modification field and see who that was.